First, when did we hear the first time that Stockholm should be fossil fuel free? I think it was something 2008 where the politicians had, had said that they had saw a picture where we at first we calculated how many how high was the emissions 2000, uh, 1990. And then we made the next calculations 2000, and then the next 2005. And when the politicians saw that, that a high staple, a little lower staple, and a little lower staple, and then they say, well, can't we go on the same way and we'll look where do we have zero? And it was something 2045, 2050. And then the politicians said, OK, let's do that like that. So in the budget, it was said that we had reduced the emissions and Stockholm will continue in the same speed. And then it will be a fossil fuel free city 2050. And then the next sentence was, and the, and, uh, the Environmental and Health Administration do a plan for this. OK. So it was only to, to start to make a plan for, for, for this. And uh, the strategy is then under the environmental program. So we have the budget where the politicians say how they want to have it. Then we have the environmental program where we then put that sentence into it and we look at it for the next four years and see what, what, what should we be in the next four years. And the environmental program, then all departments that has something to do that is written in the environment program had, has to report three times every year how it goes. Very simple. If they reach the goal, a green point. If they don't, a red point. And just one sentence. Why do they think they don't come to, to the goal? Very, but then the politicians can see in this system how it goes. And then we have the strategy. And here we put all stakeholders together and see what can they do. So it isn't only the city, it's also the district heating company, uh, and we look at um, <coughs> big um, industrial sectors and so on, and see what can you do so we got actions. And then we also have an annual report. How is it going? And I think that's very important that you don't only have goals, you also have to see, do we go in the right speed? Um, and the strategy is some levels. One level is, and now you see it's 2040, and that's because we got a new political wings. The, it, 2050, it was the right wings that said that. Now we have the left wing and, and Green Party. And they said, no, 10, ten years further. Uh, and now here in this strategy, that is no use of fossil fuels in the city. And we had discussed that very clear with the politicians and said, what is the difference with climate neutral and, uh, oh, you know, all, all the ways you can you can say this, but we think that fossil fuel free is clear. Everyone understands it. And because of that, it's, it's very good to have that. And then we had redu reduction targets to 2020. Now we are at 2.6 ton, and we said 2020 it will be 2.3 tons. Uh, and that is heating, that is transporting, and that is el electricity use. In the city, it's also aircrafts from the airport, and it's also shipping from the harbor. And we also have another goal that the mun municipal organization should be a fossil fuel-free 2000 and 
30. And we just are going to create the plan for, for that. And up there you see uh, what the politicians saw in 1990. You have there, uh, to, that was 5.4 ton. And now, as I said, it's 2.6, something like that. <laughs> and we have then sustainable energy use, heating and cooling, electricity and town gas. And in transportations we have actions for road traffic, aviation, shipping, and also will plant and construction machinery. Um, and the actions, I will you teach you in little Swedish also. Åtgärder, actions. This big one is what we can do in the district heating. And the next is then energy efficiency in old buildings, energy requirements in new buildings. We have there, there a little bit of solar reduction, road traffic, the blue one, fuel transport sector, the big one there. Uh, transport procurement and biogas production. So here is the different actions then and, and how much they can reduce the CO2. So we have much, much to do in the district heating system and all, of course, in the transport sector. Uh, how much uh, of um, fossil fuels do we have? We have waste burning, we are burning waste. And this is, we are burning plastic, that is fossil fuel. In the electric system, we have a little of fossil from Denmark and Finland that we imported electricity from them. We have a coal plant still going for some years, some oil boilers, and a little, little of gas. But this is now a day biogas. So we have. Uh, not so much of, of uh, fossil fuels left in the heating system for, for all buildings. Uh, and 80% um, of all houses are connected to the district heating system, and the other 20% has uh, geothermal heat pumps or something like that. Uh, so that was a very short description of how do we work with, with to be a fossil fuel free city. But um, as I said, very short. So you are welcome to Stockholm and look at how we're working. Thank you. Thank you.